morning students uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the fifth unit topic that is rf systems the high high electron mobility transistor concept the high electron mobility transistor exploits the difference in band gap energy between dissimilar semiconductor materials such as gallium aluminum arsenide and gallium arsenide it operates up to 100 gigahertz even above 100 gigahertz the high electron mobility transistor hemt also known as heterostructure fed or modulated doped fed is a field of a transistor incorporating a junction between two dissimilar material with a different band gap such as gallium aluminum arsenide and gallium arsenide as the channel generally used because of its high electron mobility and carrier drift velocity then silicon it operates at a very free, high frequency range that is up to 100 gigahertz and above that's why we are choosing high electron mobility transistor unit from this the electron from n doped region move through the crystal lattice and the remain close to the hetero junction a two dimensional electron gas or plasma of very high mobility is formed in the undoped gallium arsenide la layer for zero gate bias condition the bias voltage applied to the gate is used to modulate the number of electrons in the channel from the two dimensional electron gas and in turn this control conductivity of the device by varying the channel width Uh, this diagram shows the energy band diagram of gallium aluminum arsenide and gallium arsenide interface for an high electron mobility transistor that is energy band gap difference we are analyzing here so through this to determine the potential distribution along the x axis with the help of poisson equation that is we are calculating barrier voltage between this energy diagram that is if vt is greater than 0 high electron mobility transistor operates in enhancement mode if it is less than 0 it is operated in the depletion mode so we are calculating when it is operated in the enhancement mode and when it is operated in the depletion mode so from this we are easily understand the high electron mobility transistor concept thank you